All right, Exploration America back with another one. <clears throat> this would be, I think, episode seven of the supposedly haunted doll series. So yeah, <clears throat> I'm gonna keep making these just because I think that if I actually find a doll that's haunted, really haunted, that would make for a really cool video. So, I don't know what happened in that last one. Like I said, I left it alone. I went in the house. I let whatever happened, happen. So, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I'm going to do... I think I'm probably going to do a similar type of deal this time. I'm going to... Leave the camera running. I'm going to put one of these dolls. This is a creepy looking one because the eyes look realistic. Anyway, this is going to be number seven. Sorry there's no clothes on it. That's how it was when I got it. Anyway, episode number seven of the Haunted Doll series. If you want to play with the doll, or make the doll move, feel free. Do whatever you want with the doll that's laying there. And the device making all this noise right here. You can speak through that, and the camera should pick your voice up. So if you have anything you need to say, speak into the device laying here. Or speak directly into this thing that's, that's called a camera. Either way, your voice should be heard, and that's really all I'm here for, is to see if there's any spirits that want to communicate, and if so, like I said, feel free to play with the doll, move the doll, do whatever you want with the doll, speak into either one of these two devices here, and yeah, I'm going to leave you alone for about... 20 minutes and then I'll come back and see what happened and I'll keep doing this as an experiment to see if I get more you know interaction this way because I noticed in one of the other videos when I was sitting here the spirits were getting angry because they didn't want to communicate with me it seemed like they were more interested in communicating with each other so yeah I'm gonna walk away go back in the house or Maybe I'll hang around out here and find something to do while this films. I don't know. Because I don't really have anything else to do in the house. I had some stuff in the, to do in the house the last time. So I think I'll just walk away and go to the other side of the building. Again, I'm going to throw my mask down and walk away. Feel free to move the doll or do whatever you want to do with the doll and just talk into one of the devices that are sitting there. And in about 20 minutes I'll come back over there and... Thank <laughs> you.
I'm gonna come back over here and just sit here quietly because I just saw a full on like shadow figure, full like full length shadow figure walk in front of this doorway right here because I was standing on the other side of the building quiet without saying anything or moving or anything. It literally walked right in front of the doorway and headed back this way. So I don't know if you saw that on camera or not. But I saw that like crystal clear with my own eyes. So I'm just gonna sit here quiet for the rest of the video, not saying anything. Hopefully something else happens. I just wanted to come, hurry up and come back and mention that in case it was caught on camera. That was crystal clear. I also heard yep. what sounded like someone tapping on the wall. Hopefully the camera picked that up. The fuck was that? Was that a sneeze coming through the spirit box? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I just heard a, I heard two separate voices, but they weren't coming from the spirit box. They were coming over here directly in front of me. Wait a minute. Hold on. I think someone's outside. Because that sounds too clear to be like a disembodied voice. I hear him again. And now it's coming from over this way. Like beside the building over here. But I just looked out there and there's no one out there. There was just someone standing. I just saw a figure standing in the doorway again. That's not the same one I saw walk in front of the doorway. That was, this one was different. Okay, that one got me. <laughs> I just turned my head and there was a fucking woman standing right there. Holy shit. Holy hell. Oh. Good God. That one scared the hell out of me. <laughs> oh. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, damn. My, my heart feels like it's about to jump straight out of my chest.
Oof. Okay. Calm down. That scared the hell out of me. That one got me. <laughs> I don't usually get scared, but I was not expecting that at all. I literally just turned my head, and there was a woman standing right there. Fuck. If that was you I just saw, I'm sorry for freaking out like that. I just was not expecting to turn my head and see anyone standing, like, right next to me like that. That scared me. Whew. Like I said, I was not expecting that, so that's why I, like, freaked out a little bit. And I'm sorry for freaking out. Okay. There was another weird, I don't know if that's a sneeze or a cough or what that was coming through the spirit box. And it sounds almost like chanting or like someone talking really low or whispering nonstop. I don't know what that is. I can't make out what they're saying. It's like a weird... I'm hearing footsteps over here. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and end this one because I still have another one I need to film.